everybody. How y'all doing today? Do you know what today is? It's a uh, horror time once again. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Chucky series. <laughs> I cannot do that laugh. But uh, wow, really, really good series about killer doll or dolls, I should say, because there's more than one in the series when it gets later on. There's more than one killer doll. But a really, really good series. Here's the first one, Child's Play. This is the first DVD that came out in America. It's still got the sticker on it, CD Warehouse, eight ninety nine. This is in a full screen. All you get is uh, the trailer and the movie, and that's it. Very, it's, It was all right when it came out, the DVD, but they've got a much better DVD out now. The Chucky uh, 20th Birthday Edition, or 20th, yeah, Chucky's 20th Birthday Edition. And the DVD is so much better. It's in widescreen. A lot of extra features. Plus the cover looks really, really freaky. I mean, look at that cover. That is just creepy looking. That That's just, ooh. Ugly, ugly. But this is a really good movie. Really f good for its time. Great special effects. The killer doll. And it looked really good. Chucky just really freaked me out. But, wow. Really, really good movie. And then you got your sequels to, uh... Chucky, or Child's Play, I mean. And here's the uh, Chucky collection. I think this is the first uh, Chucky box set that came out. They've got a new one now, where you get all the movies except for Child's Play 1. Child's Play 1 is not the set, because MGM owns the rights to Child's Play 1, and uh, Universal Studios, or Pictures, or whatever you want to call it, they own the rights to all the other Chucky movies. But anyway, in this little uh, Chucky set here, you get a uh, Child's Play uh, 2, which is a very good sequel. I enjoyed this one. Pretty much uh, picks up right after the first movie. It's got Andy in it, and it's uh, Chucky's back, and he's really crazy in this one, really mean. The cover looks really good, too. I like the cover. It's a little Jack in the Box getting his, uh, getting his little cord cut there, and the back looks really good, too. You can see a little evil Chucky there. He looks, uh, he looks really evil in this one, but I really enjoyed this one. Great sequel. And then you've got a Child's Play 3, which is pretty much Chucky in the Army. I bet I saw this movie like 10 times when I was a little kid on TV. And then I rent it like every single weekend at the little video shop near us. But uh, I rented this movie all the time on VHS. And then when I saw the Chucky box set, I bought all of them, and I still watch them. But uh, I like this one. I know a lot of people said... It sucked and all that, and it wasn't a good sequel. I enjoyed it. I really liked it. Chucky was pretty good in this one. Uh, Andy's older in this one, and it's a, it's a damn good sequel. I liked it. And then, many, many years later, Bride of Chucky came out on DVD. Well, no, not on DVD. In theaters. And then it came out on DVD later on. But I remember, I believe I was in either the fourth or the fifth grade, and a... Uh, one of my teachers was talking about this movie. She said, she said to the whole class, Do not see Bride of Chucky, kids. It is a horrible, horrible movie. It will disturb you, and it will give you nightmares and all that. I'm like, I don't give a what you say, lady. So I went and saw the movie, even though I wasn't supposed to see the movie. My grandma actually took me to see the movie. It's pretty funny. My grandma was a big uh, horror fan, too. She liked uh, Freddy Krueger and uh, Pumpkinhead. But she always got Pumpkinhead and Freddy Krueger mixed up for some reason. She would just always get them mixed up. She said, that man with the big claws is Pumpkinhead. I said, no, Nana, that's uh, Freddy Krueger. Pumpkinhead's the one that's really tall that, that lives in the woods under all the dirt and that has that little witch lady. She said, oh, okay. But she always got them mixed up. But uh, she took me to see A Bride of Chucky. And uh, that was a blast watching that in theaters. I mean, wow. I was just a little kid, and that was a crazy movie. It's still a crazy movie years later. I mean, there's Chucky, and he's got a little bride now, and there's a nice little sex scene with a Chucky and Tiffany going, you know what? But uh, that scene was really funny. And it's a, it's a really good movie, too. I mean, it's a dark comedy. It's funny. And the ending was uh, really, really good. And then many years later after that, Seed of Chucky came out in theaters, and then it finally came out on DVD later on. This is the unrated and fully extended version. It's got a Chucky, a Tiffany, and his son, Glenn, or Glenda, whatever you want to call him. His son, 
was a, I guess a half and half, not really sure what you, what you call him. But uh, he was really weird in this movie, his kid, but it was a funny movie. What's the guy's name that does the voice for uh, Glenn? Uh, I can't think of his name off my head, but he played in The Lord of the Rings. I know he's in here. I know it says on the back. Uh, what's his name? Oh, I don't know off my head. Billy Boyd, that's it. That's it right there. I finally found it. Billy Boyd, he played in uh, this one as the voice of Glenn. And you got Brad Dourif as the voice of Chucky. He did the voice of Chucky in all the movies. And you got Jennifer Tilly as a Tiffany and a very good sequel. More of a comedy now, though, than a, than a horror movie, though. It's really, really more funny than scary. But uh, still a very funny movie. I'm looking forward to the Child's Play remake. I hope it'll be good. Well, uh, that's all I got to say. I'll see y'all later. Definitely check out the Chucky movies. They're worth your time. Very good killer doll movies. Stay away from Dolly Dearest. One of the dumbest killer doll movies there is. Well, uh, that's all I got to say. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.